night for a week I have dreamed the same dream Confused and amazed Wondering what does it mean I walk back through these books Till the moment I wake Then the feelings and faces All the people and places Start to fade What are you doing? I don't know this is a dream. I, I do this every time. John Brown, you've had this dream before. This is the seventh time. Who are you? A friend. Tell me about these books. Books? Oh no, these are lives. I was their captain. How many lives, John Brown? There were 70,000 people. As the mob arose and commenced burning the Mormons' houses, my wife gave birth to a son who lived but one hour. We called him John Crosby Brown. I raised a small heap of brick on his grave. We severely felt his loss. That's my book. Your life. I had a son. He was born in the spring. I was proud as a father could be. He was named after me. He grew weak. He was gone in an hour, and I had no power to fight what my eyes could not see. I was helpless, he slipped into death. When I heard his last breath, I felt tired, I felt sick. Just a small pile of brick marks the fact of his birth, and the fact there was nothing on earth that his father could do. the sea I could roll across the plains I could find the farthest valley and the picture of his face still remains look at them all just like innocent children each man woman child of them trusting in me as their guide in a world where there's no place to hide Like their father, I'll lead them all through If it's all I can do We'll arrive there as hard as it seems And I swear I won't fail them out there On the trail of their dreams Come away, come away From the trail of dreams In a village in Denmark That we heard we must gather across the sea It began when the farm was sold And I hid the gold Where no one would see It began when they looked at my children And they raised up their guns Saying let's make lies That's a morning we shuddered and shivered Crossing the river over the ice It began with the dream of a homeland Way out west in the mountains and all alone It began with a 12-pound ball Through our kitchen wall Saying go Shots cracking, lantern light, and all of us 
or French four. The boys wore heavy boots and the shoes of the girls were not such as the fairies wear, but we were dancing against the cold. Brother Brown, is it going well? Yes, if I can keep everyone warm and moving. No, how is everything going in your dream? Well... Is it how you remembered it? Yes, but... But have we formally met? We haven't. John Brown. Who was that woman? That fine, lovely woman. You were right, Brother Pierce, and you will not change my mind. It helps themselves. If you're poor and you're in England, what's the use to have a soul? For the factory is your life if you're too bent for digging coal. You'll be working day and night until it's hardly life at all. 
And then if you fall down dead, it isn't very far to fall. But I watch the sparrows fly, finding freedom in the sky. And I wish that there was such a place for such a one as I. Who works with his hands Leaving my fields for this freest of lands Year after year you were cursing each row Yes, you were meant to help people to grow I know your heart and the secrets it keeps You are a shepherd in search of your sheep Sheep no sheep, one or many, it is the same. It is not like Denmark. No, here no one can keep us from being who we should be. The land of our birth makes us foreigners here. But, but we are not strangers, my new home. Smart, had a little bit less heart, been just a little bit less able. I'd have kept you at my table here tonight. But captains of a hundred are in great demand. It's nothing that I asked for. Try to understand. Soon we will be settled. And our lives won't be so strange And there in the valley Our lives and our fortunes Will change In another place And in another time We'll have hours and days When you only Most forcibly taught. 
the Teamsters should drive with the team to the right. And when he cries G, the team should go from him. And when I come toward him. Now I was in the road part of the time, and that's when I was crossing it. <laughs> it was an experience, and um, edifying. Come try your luck with the oxen, boys, with the G. G! Across the plains, we could drive a team of oxen as good as you any day. Come try your luck with the oxen, boys, with the G and the hog. Stomp through the muck and the dust and noise with the woe. And get up, and get up, and get up. Come on now, get up, 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 get Angels before us and angels behind Angels were promised but so hard to find I look on my left hand, I look on my right Where in the world could the angels be hiding tonight? The company had all turned in for the night, and the camp had long been wrapped in slumber. I lay in bed, but was not asleep, when it seemed to me that the darkness began to fade, and I saw myself in a room about 16 foot square. God was considering what was to transpire on our journey from here to Salt Lake, and it was shown to me that so many were to die, but who were they to be? There was a box placed in the center of the room, similar to many lotteries I had seen. Tickets within envelopes were placed in this box. So many marked to die, and so many marked to live. About 600 souls were in the company, and the tickets seemed to be about half of each kind. After being put in the box and mixed promiscuously together, each one of the company drew an envelope bearing a ticket that would decide his fate. Sister Erin Jackson, you will awaken in the night beside your frozen husband and remain until morning, but you will not die. William Whitaker, you will go mad with hunger and cold, and then you will die to be buried in a snowdrift. Margaret Douglas, you will pull your cart to the very rim of the valley while others ride. Then you will thrust it into the canyon, watch it burst into splinters, and walk into your new life with nothing but the clothes on your back and the faith in your heart. Levi Savage, 
You alone will stand against the decision to pull handcarts into the threat of winter. But you will go with the saints, helping them, suffering with them, and offering to die with them. But you will live. Ellen Pusell, you will lose both feet to the snows of October, but you will flourish in Zion. John Watkins, are you willing to go? The spirit of the gathering has been filling my soul. My thoughts by day and my dreams at night are only how to get there. John Watkins, are you willing to go? I am willing to take my chances with the rest. I was bugler for our company. To be remembered as the trail of mud. Westward from winter quarters, we travel the trail of dust. In the big companies, the dust so choked the last wagons that it was not uncommon, now we were on the open plains, for 50 wagons to fan out like a wedge of geese in the sky and sail over those plains all abreast. Of 
mountain and mist Have they all gone away? Did they ever exist? Could ordinary people Believe in such a dream? Such ordinary people Aren't as simple as they seem They share their goods They share their lives Their hopes and fears It's no surprise Such ordinary people Aren't as simple as they seem And all of the heroes Are just in disguise They're the ordinary people With extraordinary lives And all the explorers Whoever set sail Had not one bit more courage Than these ordinary people on the train we heard it. That may have been because we were sleeping on the ground. It seemed supernatural for the ground to shake under the moonless sky in near silence. Then a rumble like thunder along the invisible horizon. It rolled across the darkness out there like a wave and rose against us like a mountain. When it hit the train, animals, gear, and luggage were tumbled and trampled. Dust choked us where we huddled under our wagons as 10,000 wild eyes looked neither to the right nor the left as they churned us under. We had never before seen buffalo. Forward the camp! Captain Brown, Captain Brown, Captain Brown, are we almost there yet? Caddy, Captain Brown warned us to keep together as close as possible. This is Indian territory. Soon we were greeted by 90 of the principal warriors with their families going to a great council of the tribes to bury the tomahawk. Oh, they made a grand appearance all on horseback and gaily dressed, some with lances, others with guns or bows and arrows. And the men passed on one side of us and the women and children on the other. But they were all well mounted and their clothing was beautiful, trimmed with small beads. Altogether, it was quite an imposing procession. And what if the red man did lie in our way? Why, why, he could be a brother. Oh, to be like him. Oh, the temptation to leap on horseback and gallop away over hill and across dale. <laughs> there were thousands of buffalo feeding quietly, strung for many miles between the bluffs and us. We can kill all we want, but we only kill what we need to eat. We are in full view of hundreds of them all the time. I ate heartily of buffalo meat and was routed out very early by its effect, the bowel complaint. We marched merrily along, singing the songs of Zion in this strange new land. We came to a land that was alive with what was called prairie dogs. They made the hills resound with their barking. They were about the size of small puppies and as cunning as they could be. Some of the boys got almost up to them. Then they would dodge down into their holes and stuck their heads out again and bark. <laughs> Some of the men shot at them. If we could have caught them alive, we would have tried to tame them. Just because they were so small and pretty. Some of our company called that place Dogtown. We are constantly walking over violets, primroses, daisies, bluebells, columbines of every shade, from white to the deepest purple. Oh, and the wild rose, too, perfuming the air for miles. Do we stop soon, Captain Brown? 
All near sunset if there's grass for the oxen. And if there is no grass? Four miles further. My wagon polar eats no grass. About this time we were having very warm weather. So much that we women got very sunburned. What a misery it is when the wind blows from the front and the whole cloud of dust raised by 75 wagons and over 300 yoga boxes blows in our faces. How intolerably our eyes and nostrils burn and how quickly our ears are filled with flying sand. Nothing but hills and brush to be seen. Past four graves of immigrants. No grass save in patches along the river. Saw four abandoned wagons. By this time, Mother's feet were so swollen, she could no longer wear shoes, but had to wrap her feet in cloth. The captain offered me the nicest pair of beaded moccasins he could find. I said, no, sir, my shoes are almost as good as new. He said, now how is that when almost all in the company are barefooted? I said, perhaps they did not praise I did that their shoes would not wear out. I remember when we first sighted Chimney Rock, a pale blue shaft above the plain, wavy through the haze which arose from the heated ground. <sighs> but it seemed we should never reach it. Mama, can we eat? Circle! Sixteen miles today, camped in dust. I've lived so long on sour grapes, no creature finds me tasty. And years of factory darkness have left me pale and pasty. Those features which I once had feared might make me unattractive. I credit as the reason I am still alive and active. <laughs> oh, Brother Pierce, you're gonna have to do better than just staying alive by accident. Well, I know fellas what are actually doing something about it. Doing something about it. Old brother Butler feared he'd die of most diseases. So he said, no, nah, to kisses and said, uh, uh, to squeezes. <laughs> He's fine and healthy now. He'll live long as he pleases. But there's no girl will have him when he gets down on his knees. He's one step ahead of what he lives in dread of. He's just praying. Old man death won't catch him when he comes to snatch him. He's just staying one step ahead. Oh, that's nothing. How about this? Our brother Kimball, now he took so many wives. I never heard him say so, but I think it's 45. When someone asked him why, he said, I think it should be clear. I'll leave so many Kimballs, they'll think that I'm still here. He's one step ahead of what he lives in dread of. He's just praying. Old man death won't catch him when he comes to snatch him. He's just staying one step ahead. Old Sister Schneider now, she loved her family so. Now make it run. She know that they would miss her when it came her time to go. She climbed into her bed and said, I'll never move an inch. And that way when I go, they'll never know the different wrench. <laughs> <laughs> oh. One step. She's one step ahead of. One step. What she
they think I am made out of paper or glass? Do they think they must force me to ride? I made a promise, a promise I'll keep. Do they think men like me have no pride? All they can see is this poor wounded bird flapping about in its rage. I don't need crumbs of attention and time. They can't keep me here in this cage. For I have wings to fly that nobody else can see. Yes, I have wings to fly, and someday I will. From the world that believes I'm a child, not a man that believes I belong on a shelf. If I give in and give up on my dream, I'll start to believe it myself. But I have wings to fly that nobody else can see. Yes, I have. Wings to fly, and someday I will break free. Yes, someday I will break free. Brother Pierce, Brother Pierce, oh my friend, oh no, oh no, Captain Brown, he is gone from us. Brother Nielsen, will you kindly fetch someone from the train to help with this body? Brother Brown. The flower is gone. We can push no further. You must get us help. Mosiah, saddle me the fastest horse. Brother Nielsen, these sheep need a shepherd. You're it. I dreamed that I came to a tremendous mountain of snow and saw that my pathway was hedged up. But someone said, take one more step. I replied, but that will be the last. However, I took that step, and then my guide said, Do you not see there's room for you to take another? When I had taken another, my guide told me to take still another in advance, and there was a passage all the way through. So it will be with us. In spite of all the hardships we sang, and many other songs we fashioned to cheer our spirits, I do not remember the tune, but this is the chorus. For some must push and some must pull as we go marching up the hill. So merrily on our way we go until we reach the valley. So merrily on our way we go until we reach the valley. Oh. Nothing to be done but ride away. Nothing to be done but Watch and wait Wondering how many I can say Walking on the front foot in the rain Knowing I must leave or lose them all Standing by to catch them as they fall Praying God will hear them when they
pioneers, men, women, and children. 70,000. Number of pioneers who walked the entire trail. Well more than half. Number of pioneers who came by hand cart. 3,000 or 4%. Number of deaths per company. One in 18. Period of the exodus. 22 years. Number of companies. 200. Number of companies stretched out along the trail. All at once. In an average September. Nine. Averaging 350 souls in each. Number of pioneers born as Americans. One. In every four. Number of pioneers who began the trail after crossing the Atlantic Ocean. Two. Of every three. Number of ships chartered for that crossing. 97. 87 from Liverpool, 6 from Hamburg, 4 from London. Among them were the Argo, the Olympus, the Ellen Maria, the Forest Monarch, the Gold Panda, the Old England, the Germanicus, the Rockaway, the Emerald Isle, Chimborazo, the Caravan, the Enoch Train, the Horizon, the Tuscarora, the William Tapscott, the Monarch of the Sea, the Antarctic, the Amazon, the Caroline. The Windermere, the Arkwright, the S. Curling. Average number of saints per ship. 434. Distance from Liverpool to New Orleans, where more than half landed. 5,000 miles. New Orleans to St. Louis. 1,173 miles up the Mississippi River. St. Louis to the trailhead at Canesville or Florence, where Winter Quarter stood. 620 miles. Winter quarters to the valley of the Great Salt Lake. 1,035 miles. Length of the journey for most? 7,828 miles. Minor interruptions in the flow of pioneers. 1846. War between the United States and Mexico. 1854. War. Between the United States and the Sioux Nation. 1858. War. Between the United States and the Mormons. 1862. War. Between the United States and itself. One would naturally think that living as we are amid plains, mountains, rivers, deserts, our world would be very large. But just the reverse is true. Our thoughts, our hopes, our fears are all centered about the train, the health and spirits of the company, grass and water for the oxen, and fuel to cook our meals. You can see that the world in which we actually live scarcely extends beyond the dust of the train by day and the smoke of the campfires at night. began with a dream I believed in When my vision was clear and my strength unspent It began with the joy of the journey Trusting the train wherever it went Then we came to the plains and the rivers And we fought through the mud and the dusty land Will it end in the peace I planned Or will I end with blood on my hands Look at these companies So inexperienced Not one in ten on their own Would survive Lost in the wild Not the slightest idea That they've nothing but me And their dreams To keep them alive They long for a place Where their struggles can end I hear as they pray With each step and each breath what they have faced, I could never explain. I just pray that their hopes and their dreams will be stronger than death. Digging deep in the dirt for my Margaret, Digging deep in my heart like a rusty knife Will I picture her tiny face In this lonely place the rest of my life? 
Standing here in the court like a shepherd, wondering how many lambs I will lose tonight. Standing here in the wind and cold, and our only hope, nowhere in sight. It was pretty hard to see. I followed my sister Janetta. It was easy. She left bloody prints of her toes and heels in the snow behind her. Rocky Ridge, Rocky Ridge, oh the memory haunts us here. in number almost were those silent witnesses of death by the way. The graves were dug by the banks of streams or among piles of rocks. I recall sitting by one while I ate my evening meal and sleeping beside it at night. That first death made a sad impression on our company. A network of stakes was placed across the grave to keep away the robber wolves. And a hymn was then sung, accompanied by the plaintive wailing of a clarinet. But after a while, the burials became so frequent that they 
lost much of their saddening power. Or rather, we refuse to retain the sadness, throwing it off in self-defense. Isa, I'm not the man I used to be. I'm not the man you once chose. What makes you think I'm in love with your feet? You don't love a man for his toes. Will you stop loving me if my feet freeze? No, I would love you from your head to your Oh, yes. And then you are much older and your beauty starts to go. By then you'll lose your eyesight so you'll never even know. And if I lose my hair, you're assuming it's still there. We both could fall apart and still it would be true. I love whatever's left of you. If Indians should scalp me, would you love me after that? Of course, my dear, I'd love you, but I'd hope you'd wear a hat. And if my hair turns gray, least yours is there to stay. We both could fall apart, and still it would be true. I'll love whatever's left of you. Yes. Everything will be different now. How will it be different? I will just sit there doing nothing, eating your food and being in the way while you do all the work. Yeah? And how will it be different? Yes. And now we are all alone. We are back to only two. I don't know what the future holds. But I'll be holding you. Both could fall apart. We might not make it through. We, we both, both could, could fall, fall to pieces, pieces and, and still it will be true. true. I love whatever's left of me. You still don't understand. There will be no victory here for me, no sting for you. If I am the lion, you are the lamb, Brother Brown. There shall be peace between us. Mama! I'm needed. Angela, not Caroline! Caroline, we're almost there. Daddy! Just hold on till we get to the valley. Then we'll be home, and you'll be all right. In another place And in another time We'll have hours and days When you only are mine from the beginning, from before Nauvoo, and we're a stone's throw from the end. Will you take all the joy? 
I had a son and I heard his life end And I hear it again when each friend takes their last dying breath And I've failed them, how can you pretend That our faith and our hopes and our dreams can be stronger than death Yes you die, is it such a surprise It's the one fact of life guaranteed First you come and you leave And what counts is not living or dying But searching and trying And finding the trail of your dreams All I found is just a trail of mud Then a trail of dust, a trail of blood What you found is more than you can do You have planted seeds, now watch them grow Just to see you kill them with the cold Just to see them turning into gold Turning into dreams this world can hold I am just another door Why did I ever enter in? On a trail It's a battle I can't win I was beaten long ago What? That's the reason you can call me your friend Now you've sailed across the years Can I believe this tale you tell? And you've rolled across the plain That you're from heaven, not from hell Don't you have a rescue to conduct? Angela, what about Jedediah? It's not his time. Not that. What then? If you take her, you take his dream. If you take his dream, you take his life. Dreams are stronger than death, John Brown. Will you show me? Caroline. Jedi, Jedi, all is well, all is well. Please get me to the valley, Jetty. Then bring me my Margaret. Bring her to me. All together in the valley. Yes. Yes, Caroline. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. A box. I must have a box for my wife. I'm sorry, there is no box. But we have no wood for wood. My wagon is made of wood. I will help. And I will help. And who would have thought that a box just this size could hold all the dreams in her eyes? Brown, may I have this dance? 
Is it time? It's time. Is my dream over? Your dream is never over. Will it come true now? All our dreams come true. What? God simply asks, what do you want? Something like that. And we simply answer with our lives. Wait! Did I answer well? Dance, Brother Brown.